With the thesis proposed by the Rebbe in the Sikha that the link between Beit HaMikdash number one and Beit HaMikdash number two in terms of their historical role was closer than the link between Beit HaMikdash number one and the Mishkan, we will be in a position to address two of the seven questions. With question six, we asked why, if we need to link the double Mishkan to the Churban of two holy structures on the basis of time proximity and greater Kedusha, the double Mishkan should have been connected to, firstly, the Mishkan and the Beit HaMikdash, number one, rather than Beit HaMikdash number one and Beit HaMikdash number two. And with question number seven, the definition of collateral is a security that has been pledged pending the meeting of certain requirements. By the same token, when those requirements are met, the item of collateral needs to be returned as is. If we accept the fact that the Kedusha of the Bet HaMikdash number one was greater than that of Bet HaMikdash number two, then the Mashkon collateral aspect of the Churban of Bet HaMikdash number one was not fulfilled with the rededication of Bet HaMikdash number two, which lacked in levels of Kedusha as per the bracha given to both Shem and Yafet following the flood and the absence of a number of key clay hamishkan such as the Urim Vetumim and the Aron containing the Luchot. From the standpoint of collateral, a better option for the double Mishkan would have been the Mishkan of the desert followed by Shiloh. It then needed to be dismantled or in other words taken as collateral to be returned in the form of the Bet HaMikdash number one. In this case, from the standpoint of Kedusha levels, the terms of the collateral have been met. A response to these two questions will lay in the fact that there is a greater intrinsic connection between Bet HaMikdash number one and Bet HaMikdash number two than that of the Mishkan and the Bet HaMikdash number one. This intrinsic link extended from the fact that they were both a Bayit, they both created a direct link between a geographical location and the spiritual counterpart, and hence, from the standpoint of the Mashkon, the collateral, Bet HaMikdash number two did meet the collateral obligation of Bet HaMikdash number one. Whereas the Mishkan of the Midbar and that of Shiloh were deemed to be an Ohel, by its very nature a temporary structure that moved from place to place, hence it lacked the link between the physical and the spiritual worlds. And for this reason, Bet HaMikdash number one could not be considered to be repayment of the collateral upon the destruction of the Mishkan. Similarly, closer proximity in time and higher levels of Kedusha was not a fundamental link between the Mishkan and the Bet HaMikdash number one, merely side aspects subservient to the core purpose of the Bet HaMikdash, the link between the Gashmi, the physical, and the Ruchni, the spiritual, beginning with Yaakov and his description of the location as a Beit Elohim, continuing on to the establishment of Beit HaMikdash number one, which was then taken as a Mashkon, later to be returned in the form of Beit HaMikdash number two.